All right, guys, this is the last video I'm shooting of the J10 before I put the graphics on it, which more than likely I'll get to next. I'll start on next week. Um, I got a couple things I have to get done in the shop before this. The grill is, is back in it and done. The bed, the inside of the bed is Herculined. Um, the roll bar is bolted back in it. So basically, somebody could buy it like it sits, it's ready to go, or they could wait till the decals are on it. Doesn't make me no difference. So, um, you know, once I put the decals on it, I'm gonna ask quite a bit more. So I will, this is the very last video. You can see it, uh, New exhaust and for those of you who may have never seen the other videos on there this has a 96 Impala SS LT1 fuel injected motor in it um, and it has a 4L60E overdrive transmission in it um, so go ahead and it has been professionally tuned the computer it's got headers um, this one did not have a throttle body. Yeah, it's basically just a cold air intake and a tune and headers. Um, so we have driven this truck for going on a year now. It, uh, it runs and drives great. Um, driven it to St. Louis, 80 miles an hour. That's the nice thing for a couple of you guys that complain about not being original drivetrain. Well, the original drivetrain is not as efficient. And, and don't try to tell me it is because I've owned them all. I've had 360s, I've had 304s, and you're not gonna run them for two hours straight at 80, 85 miles an hour, and, and, and they're not efficient. So, and they don't get as good a fuel mileage at that speed either. So anyways, um, and the three speed 360s won't take that RPM for that long. But anyways, you could tell stories of how you went 55 cross country in it. Here you go, 1980 Jeep J10 Honcho. Um, I do have all the Tritone Honcho graphics. I, 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 like I said, it's the last thing to do other than touching up a little bit on the frame there, painting a little black on the frame. Um, it's the last thing to do to it. And then it's all, it, that's as far as I'm taking it at that point, guys. So the, uh, the dash has a couple cracks in it. It could use a headliner. Um, I may get to the headliner. Um, I may not. We'll, we'll see. Um, but it's just a real neat little fun head turner. A lot of people don't know what it is, don't know what to think of it. So um, you see your little crack in the dash there. Um, so gas gauge works, aftermarket gauges work, speedo works, um, the rest of the factory gauges do not work, the heater works, the blower works, the wipers work, obviously the headlights and blinkers work. Um, anyways, so. There you go, 1980 J10 Honcho. Last video before I uh, before I put the graphics on it.